Hi everybody and welcome back to a new fashion video. Today I really wanted to talk about the best investment pieces of last year. So when I say investment pieces, I mean items that I spent a little more on or a lot more on than the average kind of price tag. So whether that's an investment bag or shoes that are a little bit in the higher super luxury category, even some beauty in here. But I think these were the best investment pieces of my 2021. Starting off with the most sparkly of all, and I got these only in like November, December time, I think. These are the Macamac shoes that you've probably seen all over social media. That's definitely where I saw them in the first place. I absolutely fell in love with these. I think I saw them on a celebrity person somewhere, or it could have been an influencer. I mean, everybody had these shoes, um, and I just decided I need them in my collection, and I've never looked back. These are a hefty price tag, which is why they're in this video. They are certainly an investment, but genuinely, I have just fallen so head over heels in love with these shoes. In fact, you might have seen the video that I filmed with my best mates where I tried these on and asked for their opinion and they both just swooned over them. It was actually, I saw a video by Susie Bernaldi and she bought them and then I was like, right, I'm sold. I've seen them so many times now. Susie has finally done the final selling point to me and buying them. I'm not sure if you can get these now. They're most likely on pre-order at the moment because they did sell out enormously. The ones that I have are the ones with the kind of polka dot crystal and then the crystal embellished bow all around them. Um, yes, they look so over the top. They look a little bit crazy, but actually on the feet, they are a dream. A very worthwhile investment, I think. I've already worn these so many times and the number of compliments I've had on them almost makes me feel that they were very, very much worth it. <laughs> this was an amazing investment for sure. This Versace bralette that I bought last year, I barely took off all year, which you probably noticed if you saw all of my reels. I had so many fashion reels with this bralette. It just fits perfectly. It looks beautiful under anything, whether that's yellow or black or white. You could also mix this up with colour as well if you're quite daring. Again, I've had so many people message me and say, look, it's quite pricey. Is it really worth it? And honestly, I can only say yes because I've worn it so much. I think it's such an incredible piece of my wardrobe and I'm only excited to just style it up more for this year. I'm gonna do this one quickly because you're all probably really sick of seeing this bag already. She is my pride and joy. I did mention her in the last video, but I can't really do this video without mentioning the biggest investment of all, my Hermes Kelly 25 Cellier Epsom leather in Jean Ombre with silver hardware. Just for anyone that hasn't been here before, this is literally the pride and joy of my bag collection. I think she is just absolutely exquisite. No regrets, no changes, I just adore her. Moving on to some beauty, I had to mention this little guy, the Clay de Poe Raging Cream Foundation. I have shade 020. I have been through, I think this might be my third tube of this foundation. Again, I say investment because this is not in the lower price foundation categories. I think this foundation is 110 pounds. However, it is in my top three foundations ever now. I don't like not wearing this. <laughs> I just adore it so much. I think this is one of the most incredible foundation products ever made. It's glowy, medium coverage, it's a beautiful colour. It just doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. It adds such a kind of blurred, beautiful, flawless finish and it doesn't upset my skin. I think it's just brilliant. I really adore this brand and I think this is just fantastic. Now I'm pretty sure I did buy this in 2021. If I didn't, I'm really sorry. At this point in time, I think I did. Did I? I'm going to include it anyway because this definitely saw me through 2021. No, I'm so sure that I bought this very early, like January 2021. The Saint Laurent blazer of my dreams. I had always wanted to buy a black classic Saint Laurent blazer, oversized and just super wearable for my wardrobe and this is the one that I bought in the I mean it, it needs a lint roll like you would not believe in fact I've just bought a new lint roller I'm gonna get that on there in a moment but the cut the color super jet black of this with the gold buttons 
they fit, everything is perfection of this blazer. It's not one thing that I would change and I've worn it so many times it makes the price worth it because I've literally got so much use out of it. So it was one hell of an investment but I truly have gotten so much wear and I just love it so much. Another bag investment of last year, this beautiful Bulgari Cobber Charm bag, is the bag that I was lusting after for around nine months. I saw Bulgari mention this on their Instagram. I immediately messaged the PR for Bulgari, who's a good friend of mine now, and was like, when is this bag coming out? Because that colour is absolutely heavenly. And it came out like nine months later and I was just in awe of it. I love the colour. The overall style of the Cabot Charm bags with this beautiful thick quilting is absolutely sensational. I don't think there's anything really like this in the market. And then it has the gorgeous, more modern take on the Bulgari snake head charm at the very very front and of course the beautiful gold necklace top handle strap and then it does come with the thicker the gorgeous thick pink strap and on the inside it even has a snake charm for the zip clasp all those little extra details what have i got on it such a wonderful investment if you are thinking of buying a bulgari i love the cabochon bags so much they're just the most beautiful shape now I was actually wearing this shirt the other day for my previous fashion video and again it's a Versace number. This shirt had kind of been in my basket for such a long time and I'd always thought, oh is it a bit brash, is it a bit bright and garish almost? Because you could, you could think of it that way. However, it's just so typically Versace and with so much white on it I thought, you know what, maybe I could get away with this because there are a few different varieties of this shirt. They can be quite a lot in terms of print if you're not into your print. But at the same time, it's so typically Versace, it's just so recognisable. And I thought, you know what, just style down with a pair of jeans or black trousers, it'll just be such a cool statement blouse. And I'm so glad I went with it because I absolutely love it. I think it's such a wonderful shirt. I actually wore this on the very first day back to work this year because I was like, look, I want to be in like boss mode. I want to feel my most sophisticated and on top of life and so this is the shirt that I went for because it just makes me feel so powerful and bold and brave and strong and feminine yeah again a gorgeous investment shirt that I am so glad I got now I might be a little biased with this one but personally I think this was one of the best investments for sure for 2021 my holland cooper god oh, sorry there's like fluff all over everything it's both fault i blame both um my holland cooper collection pieces that came in they wonderfully sold out which is amazing i have so many people constantly messaging me about this jacket suit especially after i wore it for my jimmy Choo advent calendar videos and that went so viral i had so many people asking me where is that suit from i'm just gutted that i didn't put that out at the same time so everyone could have bought it then but yeah, this suit, it is just the most incredible quality. I mean, I'm so pleased I have it in my own wardrobe as well for the future because I just think it's the most stunning shade of green. And I was just so, so proud to bring out this collection. So if any of you did get your hands on the beautiful blazers from my last collection, then I think you've got one of the best investment pieces of last year. <laughs> like I said, probably biased, but probably not had to include this beautiful dress in here the zimmerman dress of my dreams i talked so much about this last year i wore it a number of times not enough in fact i wish i had more time to wear it however i wore it for my birthday when me and alex went away i wore it on a, another holiday that i went on i mean it's just you know it's a shame i didn't go on many holidays last year but i will be going on holidays this year and taking this beautiful dress with me zimmerman posted this on their instagram i immediately screenshot it completely fell totally in love with it and was waiting for the day they released it and as soon as it came out i was like yep absolutely need this dress it is so beautiful i'm so so glad that she is mine another little beauty piece the dyson corral this one is in the prussian blue i called it prussian last time apparently it's prussian i'm saying this in terms of this blue one being like the investment of last year um obviously the dyson corral is in a price bracket of its own. It is the top tier of hair tools. 
But without trying to be biased, obviously I work with Dyson, I'm one of their hair ambassadors, but I truly believe in this product and the Air app for how incredible they are, the technology that's based inside of them, the way they look after the hair, as well as giving you like the top results you could get. And every time they bring out just a beautiful new colorway, I just swoon over it. They had the copper, they had the bright fuchsia pink, and then they brought out the Prussian blue. And it's just absolutely beautiful. If any of you guys got a Dyson Corral or an Air Wrap for Christmas, I'd kind of love to know down below in the comments. I know a lot of people got treated this year to a Dyson by their loved ones for Christmas, which makes me so happy because obviously I believe in them so much as well. But yeah, I think this is certainly an investment that is very, very much worth it. Again, I might be biased with this, but genuinely, I think one of the best jewellery investments of last year were the big chunky chains from my Edge of Ember collection. Um, I mean, I would put the whole collection into this. However, talking mainly about investments, these were the kind of higher priced items in my collection. My favourite probably being the Veneto necklace. We do still have this actually available and we have the matching uh, bracelet too. I mean, this would look super cool just underneath my shirt. I always like to have the little fastening open at the front. Is that gonna work for me? Oh, super cute. I mean, this is more of a choker style. It's a little bit shorter. But yeah, the Veneto necklace, but also the Luxor necklace. I know this was a really amazing bestseller. It is now sold out in gold, but you can still get it in the silver color. So we do only have silver left in the Luxor. Big, big, chunky, chunky Luxor necklace. But the Veneto, we do still have this in stock. And I think it is my favorite piece from the whole collection. I just love the style of, first of all, the clasp, the fastening, the actual chain links of this. I just absolutely adore it. So again, I just think they were such a worthwhile investment if you did get your hands on them. And I've most definitely had my money's worth out of wearing these. I'm, I've worn these so much. I love them, I'm so proud of them. And in fact, on the topic of jewelry, again, a more luxury investment piece um, of last year is this beautiful Bulgari ring. Again, it's just such a gorgeous, beautiful piece just wraps around with the little snake at the top. Again, it's something that I get asked about a lot if I show my hands or my nails and I'm wearing this, a lot of people ask me about it. It's just one of the Bulgari serpenty rings. I often don't take this off. I usually have obviously my wedding rings on. I'll have a couple of my Edge of Ember rings on and then I'll always have this on my other hand on this finger. And again, it's an investment piece that I am just so happy with. Gosh, I'm really rattling through these investments. I think last but not least, is my vlog camera. Bearing in mind that I use this practically every single day to vlog some aspect of my life, um, I'm quite pleased with this camera overall. Recently I've been feeling like I've definitely seen a deterioration in the quality and I think that's likely because of how much I throw this around. I mean it gets battered, it really does just get thrown into bags, onto the desk, whenever I need things editing. But actually it's held its ground a lot better than the Canon G7X Mark II that I used to use. They just fall apart. This has actually managed to keep its shape. It's not got chipped or anything like that. And I mean, this all still works perfectly. So actually it's in really, really good condition seeing as I've used it so much. It comes with a dead cat for, um, this is like a wind muff. It comes with that as standard with the camera. It also comes with a little tripod that you can hold it with. Overall, I think it's probably the best vlogging camera that I've used. It's got a good colour, it's got built-in stabilisation, if you remember to turn it on, which sometimes I don't. Um, it also has like built-in like skin blurring if you want that. Um, I used to have it on the very minimal setting and then in the end I ended up turning it off because it was just annoying me a little bit and I also didn't want to give anyone the impression that I felt I needed that. I just liked the way it made everything look. But anyway, I turned that off, but you can have that on here. And um, it also takes pretty good pictures too. I never really use it for pictures, but it, it does take good pictures as well. This is the Sony ZV-1. Yeah, so again, it's an investment camera for sure if you're vlogging, but it's probably my favorite vlog camera that I've used. So, oh yeah, and you can also do this where you flick this round and pack it in so that doesn't get scratched if you don't want to. I never remember to do that, but it's a good idea. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna leave it there guys because I've actually nipped through a lot of investments here but I just didn't wanna rabbit on about each too much and instead just show you everything that I feel was a really fantastic 
piece that I added to my collection last year. Let me know down below what your best investment was of last year. I genuinely read all the comments and would love to know what you invested in and you're still absolutely in love with. It'd be great to hear from you. If you're brand new, never seen me before and you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe before you head off, before you forget me. And for everybody else, if you are here, make sure you leave me a comment, say hey, leave me a little emoji down below, leave me a little red heart just so I know you're all there. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for being here. I will see you in my next one. Bye.